Okay, so it's no secret that the need for quality and stress-free video conferencing, or even streaming for that matter, has never really been higher. And we constantly find ourselves hopping onto platforms like Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, or whatever else people tend to use these days. But unfortunately, the quality of webcams on our laptops just haven't lived up to the standards of this new trend of sorts. And unless you're spending a considerable amount of money on streaming equipment or proper professional webcams and cameras, you're not really going to be pleased with the 720p webcam solutions that most industry-grade laptops currently offer. But iPhone, or even iPad users, hear me out. What if you could use either of those devices I just mentioned to act as your professional laptop webcam, or for a more appropriate label, your go-to laptop camera of choice? Now, there are a ton of tools out there that attempt to fine-tune this idea of turning your phone into your webcam, but I'm yet to find a more robust solution than what Reincubate's Camo Studio has to offer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up your iPhone or iPad to act as your professional laptop camera using just this tool, as well as some of the dope features that come along with it. Oh, and non-Apple device users, I apologize in advance, but this tool doesn't quite support other mobile devices just yet. So let's hop on and see how the software really works. So if you wanna download the app, go ahead and click on the link in the description where you'll be redirected to Reincubate site giving you the option to download Camo Studio. There's a free version you can download, but I'm using the paid version since it includes a lot more features that we'll be going over, like supporting resolutions that go up to 1080p, video customization settings, the option to remove the native app watermark, and the ability to use various lenses that come with your iPhone. So plenty of stuff to play around with. The Mac version is available to download right now. However, the Windows version is still in production at the time of this video. So once you've downloaded Camo on your laptop or desktop, the next step would be to get the iPhone app on the App Store to help facilitate that connection between your phone and laptop. And then all you have to do is connect your iPhone to your laptop via your USB connection and Camo Studio will automatically detect your iPhone and have it ready to use. Now, you'll find yourself playing around with this tool a lot when you first use it, and there's this weird camera inception feature that's actually kind of bizarre yet weirdly cool. So if you just hover your iPhone camera and point it towards the screen on Camo Studio, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I was immediately struck by the Pro iPhone model's incredible 12 megapixel camera with those large sensor sizes, which honestly, I shouldn't have really been surprised by, but this was already a massive jump from the 720p FaceTime HD cameras, especially in low light conditions. Now, there are iPhone webcam mounts and tripods you can use if you wanna take advantage of this setup, although I'm just using the Anchor PowerWave wireless charging stand that isn't the most ideal accessory to pair this with, but it works for me. I'll leave those links down in the description as well. Now let's take a quick tour of all the settings and features here. You have the option of changing resolutions within this drop-down window here, although I don't picture myself using anything other than the native 1080p full high definition setting. You also have a bunch of presets and filters you can choose from to customize, but I don't anticipate using these too much either. And you even have the option of rotating your camera view if your iPhone is positioned a certain way on your desk or tripod, or if you find yourself using the orientation log settings. Now, here's the cool part. You can actually take advantage of the various lens settings the iPhone has on offer depending on what model you're using. I currently have my iPhone 11 Pro hooked up, which gives me the choice of switching between the three lenses, ultra wide, wide, and the telephoto settings on the phone's built-in camera. Or you could simply use the front-facing camera. The wide lens seems to be a good setting for regular calls given that its angle of view covers most bases but you do have the luxury of getting a much larger field of view with the ultra-wide lens. Now, if you have one of the Pro models, you can enjoy the telephoto lens to get a zoomed up and close range view of yourself, if you desire that for any particular reason. The selfie lens works great too, and given that the camera comes with Apple's Smart HDR, LiDAR 2 if you have the iPhone 12, and a background blurring portrait mode, Camo allows you to utilize that for crisper images, and 
using their own portrait mode setting to pretty much focus on your face and blur out a background that could potentially be distracting if you're streaming or getting on conference calls regularly. Now this feature is currently on beta, but works super well for me thus far. Along with your basic zoom settings and frame rate changes, another sweet feature that you could take advantage of depending on what conditions you find yourself in is the light and image adjustment settings allowing you to play around with exposure, white balance, and flash levels, and even things like brightness, sharpness, and contrast as well. Now, the sweet thing about Camo Studio is that you can use it with a bunch of different apps and services out there. And so integrating this with apps like Zoom, Google Meet, WebEx, Discord, or even streaming platforms like Twitch, OBS, and YouTube Live is super easy to do. If you hover over to the help and integration settings here, you can take a look at all the apps that allow you to take advantage of your now high quality webcam setup. And the list is pretty extensive. Most tools are ready to use Camo straight away, while some tools like Slack and Skype will require you to install some integrations, but that setup literally takes a few seconds to complete. Testing this out with Google Meet and Zoom yielded some pretty good results with minimal latency and the quality of video calls just hit another level altogether. Images were crisper and smoother given the high resolution and frame rate, and there weren't any grainy pixels. But again, this is subject to your connection levels. Here's a comparison between my 720p built-in webcam that I use on my 16-inch MacBook Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro's 4.25 mm wide-angle lens camera. So yeah, it's pretty clear that the difference here is stark. Now, the setup is super easy and beats out the DSLRs and mirrorless cameras when it comes to ease of use as well as cost. If you're setting up a DSLR or mirrorless camera, you're going to find yourself using a USB capture card like the Elgato Cam Lake 4K that connects to your camera via a regular HDMI cable. But Camo gives you pretty incredible quality using the best in-class smartphone cameras right in your pocket with a setup procedure that's almost non-existent. That's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Now, like I said at the start of this video, I've tried some other iPhone webcam solutions, but nothing really comes quite as close as Camo Studio when it comes to stability and ease of use. So go ahead and try it out and let me know your thoughts. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. All right guys, take it easy. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.